am Mary Beth Becker. I'm a poet from Duchenne. This is my sacrificial poem called I paid attention in science class just so I could write this. A love poem. I am in love with you like a subscription to Geological Magazine. Thoughts of you are delivered to my doorstep bi-monthly. I am 600% done with your issues, but bro. This is the most sincere I've felt since the last full moon. The brightest my cheekbones have flushed. Dude, you're the superlative emotion. <laughs> Tonight, I wait for the FedEx man to drop off my infatuation with your styrofoam peanut self. I wonder if you know that every time you jump to catch a frisbee, my heart does the same. My heart leaps six feet closer to the clouds. My heart is the frying pan you used as a childhood drum. My heart is a Lego that won't hurt to step on. My heart is tied with the most truthful of ribbons. My heart was never something I wanted to write about. I love you the way coal changes to diamonds. It is slow and burning and, ooh, shiny. <laughs> you are obsidian. Glimmering at the top of my sternum, suppressing my respiratory system and pushing my heart farther into my rib cage. Third grade science taught me about the rock cycle. Told me how every mineral on this boulder of a planet connects with the others across thousands of years and our lives are, lives are intertwined over hundreds of miles and I am bolder for the connection. I love you like geology. The way bonded hydrocarbons can form limitless chains of atoms. The way a sedimentary rock is changed pressurized, heated until it is molten and oozing and gleaming with newness. This attraction is metamorphic. <laughs> when you speak, I melt into magma. If your voice weren't so glowing, I think I'd still be a solid. Instead, I'm smoldering every time you part those glacial lips of yours. We are plate tectonics. One day, I'll spin your synesthesia outward, and when you speak, your voice will erupt in gemstones. I want to crystallize the sound of your heartbeat, hang it from a sunlit window to show you just how much light you provide me, you spherolytic rock, you kaleidoscope of thoughts, you radiant texture, my opal-eyed poet, you rock. <laughs>